and welcome to a brand new series, Road to Paris, the vlog where we take you on the journey to qualify for the Olympic Games in Paris in 2024. Now qualifying is no easy feat. There are three steps to qualifying for the Olympics in the sport of track and field. The first step is to get a qualification standard. The second step is to compete at your national trials and fight for a spot. The third way is to qualify through world rankings. Now, if you were following us in our last season road to Budapest for the World Championships, you would have seen that that series got cut quite short. I actually qualified through the third step, which was through world rankings. But unfortunately, many countries, including our own, actually declined those invitations. Now, I didn't qualify uh, for the 400, but I did end up going to the World Championship as part of the relay and ended up winning two medals there. Also, if you've been following us from last season, you might notice that we're in a different setup. In the middle of last season, we actually decided to change our setup. We were based in Austria and we decided in July that that was no longer a, a suitable environment for us. So we are now in Denmark with a new coach, which we absolutely love. And so without further ado, welcome to Road to Paris. Enjoy! Enjoy. All along for the battle in behind, Jamaica from Poland. Lavia Nielsen of Great Britain coming around the outside here. Nielsen was already a winner. And surely there ain't no stopping them now. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Denmark, where it spits and it's so cold. And it's Monday morning and we have to be on the outdoor track. <laughs> Luckily we get to warm up on the indoor track, so that's our first stop. Welcome to the indoor track. This is our home for the next year or so. There's no one here. There's no one here. What's happening? It's eerily quiet. It's very eerily quiet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you good? How was it, coach? How was it? Yeah. I'm wet, can't you see? <laughs> I worked hard today. It's horrible. It's horrible. This is this is what we mean by winter training. You can't see how bad the weather is. But it is bad. Oh it looks great. Cheers. So you did the runs. Now we've got jumps and throws. Complete athletics. Run, jump, throw. Couldn't film any of our riding because it was cold and wet. But you know we've run a lot when we begin yawning, which means the body needs some oxygen. I can't, I feel like my voice is weird. You got mascara running. The back ones. This is for me, and this is for Lavia. <laughs> Legs, 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 long arms, long arms. There you go, see, long arms. My head hurts. You do that. On the toe, long arms. You were long? Yeah. And you got further. Now getting ready to go to our second session of the day. We we're eating a quick bite. Oh, yeah, nice. We made date brownies. They've got no sugar in it, and the dates hopefully will give us an extra boost. So let's hope it um, carries us through a circuit session. This is what winter training looks like. It's 5 p.m. Pitch black. Looks like we're training in the middle of the night. We are also in Scandinavia, so it's especially dark here. It's like deja vu. Again. Session number two of the day, and it's only Monday. 
of the week, sorry. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Day two of the week, session number three of the week. Let's go get it. We didn't talk about session yesterday. It gets cold in Denmark. Very cold. <laughs> So we had a session, but then coach changed the plan because they didn't want us to stand still for too long. So we ended up doing like short recovery, like speed work, basically turnarounds on the track. And for those of you who don't know, speed kills. Because our CNS was fried after that. And so now we have gym and it'll be interesting to see how we get on with a taxed CNS. Hello, how are you? I'm okay. Morning. Morning. We're filming. We're filming, yeah. Here it is. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, Tilda. Now finished the gym session. It does take close to three hours. After a while, we just couldn't be asked to pick up the camera and film because <laughs> we're so focused. Yeah, so now we're gonna go home and we're gonna figure out what to eat for lunch. And maybe we'll take you through some of that as well. What I eat in a day, training edition. So if you want a really quick lunch idea, it's actually the same lunch we had yesterday, isn't it? Yeah. We just loved it so much for making it again. So we've got a grill pan here. Got it from Aldi, 17 quid if anyone's interested. And we've put some sandwiches on top. So we have had, we're having different preferences. Love what's in your sandwich. Mine is spicy tuna. Here's the filling actually. Tuna, mix it with a bit of creme fraiche and sliced jalapeno. And mine is turkey, pesto, tomato, and mozzarella. Some of you may recognise these sandwiches from a company called Joe and the Juice. Joe and the Juice. It's actually a Danish company. Oh, cool. But we can't be asked to go today, so we've just got the ingredients. And it's so simple. We're going to grill them, or griddle them, literally like two minutes each side. It took us like two minutes to prepare the fillings. Everybody's so creative. Logan, what do you think? Does this smell good? You want some? You want a sandwich? This is the Logan cam. Logan, do you want to say anything for the vlog? No. Okay. Um, this is how some athletes choose to recover. This is me on the sofa. This is how Logan recovers. And some other athletes recover in different ways. Some other athletes are yoga teachers. And we come into our pigeon pose. I was using this cork ball before going into pigeon pose because I had a knot and stretching with a knot is like trying to pull an elastic band with a knot and it doesn't work, right? So if you're going to do yoga as an athlete, get your tools with you as well. 
Wednesday morning. I'm tired. We've got to get to the track for... 9.45. 9.45, so... Time to go. Wednesday is a nice fun day because there's not a lot of running. Actually, I don't even think there's any running. There is running. There's a little bit of running. But it's a drills and skills day. Kits. I see some hurdles. I see sleds. Okay, grab us. One, two, three, hold. All right there. seems so foreign. Set. Okay. I'm gonna sit, roll up. 
Good morning. It's a double day today. We have hills in the morning and a gym session in the evening. So I'm making oats for breakfast this morning. The only breakfast that can get us through a double day. Top tip, soak your oats overnight. That's how you get a creamy porridge. Do you guys know the right way to open a banana? Um, I'm going to go in with the flax seeds. Pumpkin seeds. I'm going to put some banana on there. Some honey. Put my hair shoes on. I've got to protect Except these pretty ones, you know. Don't want these to get dirty. Sorry, I just need my bottle. Okay. Shit, I'm far behind. Do you want my hat? Because we are by the sea now. The, the air's a bit colder here. That's, that's the sea. What she's referring to. Okay. Everyone's gone. Hill session in the rain. I don't know if you can see it. But it's raining at the moment. There's Coach, he's going to go measure out a long way. <laughs> you can't see the hill on this camera, but that's always the way. But please be assured that this hill is hilling. It's at least an 8% gradient. Let's go, guys. Keep on bringing it. Keep on bringing it. All the way through, guys. Come on. This is it. This is the winter grind. <laughs> Rain, wind or shine, we're getting it done. Yeah, man. Fuck. We had four oh, runs, then we had five minutes. runs, then we had four runs. Now he said we've got two more runs, and that's it. Rinse back. Which isn't good news if it's just two more runs. And All the way, guys. Good job. All the way. Come on, Matilda, waiting for you. One more. We got absolutely drenched like absolutely drenched. My hair gel was running down my face. So we just came like straight home, put our cozy clothes on. Logan's also in cozy mode and Lava just got a bit overboard. <laughs> Trust me. I was so cold. I was so cold. I didn't pack spare clothes. That's what that's our mistake. We didn't think it was gonna rain. We didn't pack spare clothes so our clothes were wet and we had to come home in them. So I had to take a hot shower and, and cozy up. Cozy up and we just had lunch, same as lunch as yesterday. Uh, so we're just gonna rest up and then go to the gym. Now we're gonna rest. We're gonna rest. Logan say good night. See you in the gym. Yeah. Hello, welcome to the gym. <laughs> There's so many people here. So busy. So busy. <laughs> This is glute exercise number three of the session. Thursday is pretty much glute orientated. Um, it's really important to grow that bunda. I thought you were going to say something so profound. What was I going to say? I thought you were going to say, gonna say it's really important that we build the glutes, you know, it's our foundation, our powerhouse. <laughs> the gluteus maximus is one of the most powerful muscles. Okay, you don't have to, it's okay. <laughs> With the socks. These are really warm trousers and this is a white hoodie and I'm gonna wear a black jacket. Like, I don't even care as long as I'm warm. It's cold actually. You can see like the frost. Jack Frost has paid us a visit. Let's go. Let's put this on back. We, we, we stopped doing that back in like. It's Saturday, it's the last day of the training week. 
We are so tired. <laughs> so we're on the indoor track, we're gonna warm up here and then we're gonna go to the outdoor track to run a big session this morning. Big session this morning. Big. What do you reckon? <laughs> We're at the track and the sun is out. So it doesn't feel that cold anymore. But it is still pretty cold. Okay, first rep today is a 500. Thank God we stopped running. Oh my God, that was so hard. Stop just in time, these are the hailstones. Look, hold on. And it's so cold. It is four degrees, but it feels like Minus one. It is really cold. It's so cold. Oh, it felt like we were working overtime. Overboard, sorry. What? What's the word I'm looking for? We were working extra hard today because it is cold. This is hard and I'm seeing time slower than last week. But we're putting the miles in. Yeah. Money in the bank. As Coach would call it, this is a, an investment. Compound interest. Looking to make a big withdrawal in February. <laughs> So Simon Hudson here, he's just finished his 150 meter rep. Simon, can you tell us how, how that rep was for you? Uh, kind of have a lot of lactic in my legs right now, but um... <laughs> so that's Kojo, can you give us a word for how you feel? Dead. When people who don't have English as their first language get tired, they can't speak English, so... <laughs> that's that's why I can't speak Danish! <laughs> oh, the cold. oh, my hair does look funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my vision feels like after that. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, running a really hard session was it enough, we'd have to do 100 reps of everything. So I could... Strength and conditioning. This is conditioning. I'm going to fix my hair, it looks ridiculous. I hold this. That concludes the first episode of Road to Paris. Thank you for watching it if you got this far. <laughs> and that concludes our first episode of Road to Paris. Remember, if you like this video, to leave a little like, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. See you later.